Hello and welcome back, my Capricorn friends. Uh, those of you born under the sign of Capricorn, Sun, Moon, or Rising, this is a general outlook on life for you. Uh, this week we're going to do it in the form of a Celtic cross reading. Uh, and it's going to cover the time period of approximately August the 24th through September the 2nd. It's a good 10 day period. Okay, now let's see. For my Capricorn friends, we will start it right here. got an energy as the focus, uh, the emperor, uh, fire sign, more than anything, he talks about control, maybe even taking over. Um, he uh, can be very much about drive and ambition. So Capricorn, you may be talking about ambition during this period of time. Let's see. I'm going to draw a James Von Prague Soul's Lesson card. And that energy is surrender. I can release my need to control. And again, we're talking about control here. So it feels like we're pulling the energy all together here of control. But the soul's journey from James Von Prague is saying, that you need to relax a little bit with those things that you're trying to control. You can release your need to control over something here. And maybe that's what this really is about, release. Now, let me mention, at this point, we're just coming out of that total eclipse. And so I think with that energy, also about release, about overcoming obstacles and seeing finality. So we're being asked to release something here at this time. And I think it's just appropriate that it's eclipse time to be dealing with this kind of need for release over control. Now, in our first position, your current circumstance Capricorn the three of swords the heartbreak sometimes a breakup but your situation may be the fact that you're trying to control your love situation maybe you're trying to control yourself are you trying to keep yourself from being hurt again because this is all about that deep hurt. And some of you may be so controlling of your emotions right now that you're terrified to open up. Maybe you have a partnership in your sight or in your life, but you're having a difficult time completely opening up to that person for whatever reason or not. Here, in your circumstances, there's the hurt and the pain um, over something. Now, let's look at the second position. This is the card that crosses you or or it complements. Okay, it either talks about what's hindering you or what's helping you. And the Seven of Wands. The Seven of Wands is competition. You know, I'm going to say more than love here. For some of you, this is letting go of the fear of failure. Because I'm going to tell you straight up, I am a Capricorn. 
and I can completely understand how the fear of failure can get in your way. I have started more failed businesses in my life than one person has any right to. And so, when you're coming out of a period of failure, and sometimes you get to that point of recognizing success and what it can really look like, it scares you back into your shell. It frightens you back into fear because sometimes you have doubt in that possible success, in the potential to be successful. You can get caught up in the fear of actually going there. And for some of you, you may be actually trying to control the amount of success you bring in. Um, you may be trying to control that issue. Uh, competition uh, may be uh, heavy in whatever uh, business situation you're in. I can say that this too can be control over a broken-hearted situation, but we know that there's a feeling like you're competing with something. You've got a competitive energy or a competitive enemy around you, maybe in your love life too, because we can talk about that dichotomy. We can talk about how this, rela this reading can either be about relationship or it can be about business. But if this is about love, you see that there may have been someone else involved in your love life because the Three of Swords talks about that competition. It talks about that edge that maybe your partner has been cheating on you with someone younger, someone prettier, someone that's sexy, and you've had a half a dozen of his rotten little brats Pardon me, I'm sorry I said that. And you're about ready to pull every last hair out of your head because he doesn't listen to you and they're they do, and therefore they don't listen to you. It can be that kind of a, a hurtful, a competitive edge. And maybe this person is playing your energy off of the other person's energy. This is about the competitive nature of whatever it is that you're feeling the need to control in your life. And what Spirit is saying, it's time to let go. Time to open up and receive something new. Now, in the next position, what is the best you can expect from the situation? The Tower. And for some of you dealing with this situation, whether it is a disappointing road around your career path, we have endings here. Now we can say that this lies in a feeling of past position. So maybe you've already overcome the disappointment where your business is concerned. If this is more connected to love, you're either looking at the end or you're getting over the end. But the tower is an ending that is necessary. The situation can no longer exist the way it is. And something needs to be ended so a new thing can happen. And again, I would say that the best you can expect at this time is that if and when the ending comes for you in the situation, love or business, we're going to broaden the spectrum on this, in whatever way, the ending is not going to leave you finished. The end is going to leave something of a foundation where growth can still happen. So something will be left over in your life, but it's the ground that you stand on. It's your security. So I think even though there feels like an ending here, there's also knowing that there's a, cure, a, a, a secure 
uh, foundation for you to work from. And that's a pretty good place to end up after an upsetting uh, ending. Now, what are the hidden factors around you? The Eight of Swords. It's the feeling of restriction. It's the feeling of being trapped or the inability to move forward because maybe something is hindering you. Maybe something is keeping you from progressing forward. Maybe it's your career path and you have no other choice but to continue walking it until you break through to the success. If it's a relationship, it feels like you're damned if you do if, if you do and you're damned if you don't. You don't know if you can move forward because you can't really see your future as it is right now. Because maybe some of you are going through this necessary ending right now. You can look forward to an easy way out if you change your perspective. The Eight of Swords says, yeah, right now you're feeling trapped in a situation. But you really need to change your perspective and look at it in a different way because there's a release there. The Eight of Swords says if you just turn around and take the blinders off and look at the situation in a totally different way, you can gracefully move away from the situation. Now, we want to look at the next situation, which is the past, past events that are influencing the present. This is where we really get into the past in this situation. And we have the Six of Swords. So in the recent past, Capricorn, have you moved away from something or someone? Is this reflective also of where you're currently at? Maybe having some sort of stability as you've moved away. Maybe what you can expect to have right now is a stable foundation with the capability of growth. But what you really have to look at here with the hidden factors around you is that you're feeling a little bit confined, a little bit restricted in the movement that you really want to make. Because I think there's more. I don't think this is the end of your story. I don't think you've left an element of maybe failure behind and you're still feeling stuck in that feeling of failure. You, you have successfully moved away from something, which is where we want this energy to be. We want it to be in a positive position of moving forward. It's in the past. So we know that you've already made some really brilliant choices in how to restructure and refocus your life. The Eight of Swords is that refocusing and you may need to do further examination if you're still feeling stuck in a situation now and it's really connected that kind of feeling stuck is pretty much because of where you've been emotionally how you've suffered maybe at the hands of bad business choices or suffered uh, with bad love choices. It can go either way. You've moved away and you've started a new progressive road. Now, let's take a look at your next move. The Knave of Chalices. And for some of you, this really is going to talk about love now. Uh, if we're focusing on your profession first. Let's get that situation out of the way. The Knave of Chalices says you're really, even though you may be struggling with thick competition in what you're doing, or you may be dealing with 
competition that cheats at business, frankly. A, a competition that, you know, buys fake numbers and structures their businesses around deceptive practices. Then your competition is cheating you and you need to figure out how to leave that kind of deceptive practices in your wake, in the wake of your movement. And so what this is saying is you need more self-confidence, more faith in what you're doing, more acceptance that you will find the right connection in business. Now, if this is love, I want to say that there's hope. There's always hope. If you're feeling trapped in a situation because a lover failed you, because the lover deceived you in one way or another, even though you feel like you're controlling it and you're controlling your need for love and passion and maybe you're squashing all of that feeling down, because you don't want to face him, that new startup of what feels can be a very youthful energy, a very youthful, loving, kind of playful, um, it's a, a playful experience that may be offered to you. It's whether or not you decide to accept it. Because it feels like, for some of you, love is a competition. There's always someone younger, prettier, that's going to take your energy away. Because when it comes to love, Capricorn has very little energy for all of that. We, I, and, and I know my share of Capricorn, even though I am one. We get to the point at some times in our lives where we find love to be useless and nonsensical. And so Capricorn, you do have a hard time coming out of a place of stagnation where love is concerned. And a place of very deep feeling is keeping you from moving forward but the nave of chalices is saying, pay attention to an opportunity that's going to come your way. If you're feeling trapped and left out by love, prepare yourself for a new offer that's going to come your way. And in business, satisfaction will be there. Now we're moving into the next part of our reading. And the first question is, how do you see yourself? What can you do? How do you envision yourself? Capricorn, the Nine of Wands. So we have the, the wall now. And whatever the wall is, fear of failure, fear of relationships. For those of you who have difficulty envisioning yourself in a love relationship, or a successful business. It falls into both categories. Sometimes you need to protect yourself from that bear off in the distance, which can very much be representative of fear of failure or fear of commitment, fear of being hurt again. And so you're feeling like you need to protect yourself after the battle. The battle may still be within you, though. If you look at this bear, he's very hungry. He's looking for a place to, play, to clench his jaws. And that could be you in the face of the bear, which in some cases, it's fear, it's doubt, it's disbelief. And so it feels like you're kind of stuck in a cycle of not being able to break free not being able to come through uh, on the other side of the pain 
So for some of you, Capricorn, you're still really deeply in the heart, pardon me, of feeling the pain from the situation that brought you to this place. <clears throat> Next. Your environment. The Empress. She's the hostess with the mostest. And she puts on pretty little gatherings and dinners and a smile on her face. And she never lets anyone see her pain. She's stronger than that. She's the mother. She's the nurturer. And if... It, this is talking about your environment. So, even in your darkest days, Capricorn, you are going to still be the mother, the nurturer, the friend. The energy that brings people together. So your environment is fruitful. Feels like it's happy. Even though you're carrying the weight of a hurt in your heart, you're still there for your friends and your family and you're strong on the outside is what I'm hearing. Now, next are your hopes and fears. The Five of Swords. Ah, uh, that's the fear card. That's the fear. And so for some of you, this really is about fear. It really is about holding up your sword in defense of yourself. In defense of everything that you're going through. And realizing that, yes, at some level, there have been victories here. There have been hurt and bad feelings and angry words even. But at what cost? Who really walks away a winner? So... I guess what we're really saying here is that you want to overcome the place of fear that's connected to this, the success, the failure, the love, the emptiness, the commitment, the need to run from commitment. There's a struggle going on here inside those Capricorns that I speak to here. If this isn't making sense to you, it's not supposed to. And in the next position, which is the outcome, we have the High Priestess. Inner wisdom, inner knowing. Some of you have a element of intu intuition that needs to be paid attention to. And so what really brings peace and harmony for you in the situation is that once you do release whatever is controlling you that's the control whatever is controlling you when you release that fear that doubt and come out from behind the place where you have been hurt overcome the battle the real place of peace is going to be in your own sense of inner knowing, the goddess, the great goddess. That's you at this point. When you come out of it, you come through with the sense of deep wisdom, and it'll change who you are, and you'll have a more brilliant way of thinking about and looking at your life as if it's all going to change once you come through the other side. 
Well, I think that's all the message that I've got for you on this one. Stay strong because your intuition needs to be paid attention to. There's a place of peace and wisdom if you listen to that little voice that knows exactly the direction you need to turn and focus. Change your focus and listen to her wisdom, her inner wisdom. She lives in all of us to some degree or another. Now, is that all I've got for these fine people? I think for now that's it. Now I'm going to go over to my Vimeo channel and I'm going to run your love reading. It is called the Magical Love Reading for a reason. You can go check it out at my uh, Vimeo channel if you like. It's available. If you want a reading meant just for you, your uh, questions and concerns, your uh, birth sign information, have a situation in your life where you need some more inner light, inner wisdom. You need to get closer in touch with the high priestess. Uh, that is the voice in your head, but sometimes she needs a little help. You can reach out to me and get a reading for yourself. Uh, contact me through my website contact page. Or send me a direct email and I'll get right back to you as soon as I can. So, guys, um, as you journey through this, take care, be well, and peace.